Donovan, what do you do on a day off today? Uh, right now, I'm laying down watching The Office, to be honest with you. What's your, do you have a favorite Office episode? Um, I would say probably, you know, when Dwight tries to uh, start the fire training. That's pretty funny to me. Um, <laughs> just, just the whole, the whole, the whole, all the antics that went into that was, was pretty funny to me. Well, he actually starts a fire too, which is the, the great part of that too. Yes. Did you ever see? That, 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 he's a funny character. Uh, did you see the basketball one in the warehouse when, when Kevin's just lighting yes. everybody up? Uh that that was this. That was, no one would think Kevin would be the guy who was going to go off. Exactly. Right. <laughs> and and Michael didn't even put him on the team. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you binge watch? Um, I would say that and Burn Notice. I've seen probably both of those shows about four or five times through entirely. So. Wait, Burn Notice. Yes, sir. Really? That's on like USA Network, isn't it? Well, it. It was, but it's it, it's over with now, and I had to. And they took it off Netflix, which hurt me a little <laughs> bit. So I had to find a way. So I bought it on iTunes, and someone sent me. Um, actually, you say sent me the the um, the DVD version. Oh, nice. Of, of it, so yes, I'm able to watch it on my Xbox and whatnot. Are you uh, street famous? Like, if you're walking around Houston, can you walk around and get noticed? Um. No, actually, I, I I can't walk around anymore. It, oh, it's wow. kind of weird to me now. I, I, I can't just go anywhere. Um, I think this all happened in a matter of uh, two months <laughs> uh, since the dunk contest. It really changed a lot of uh, changed a lot of stuff for me. Give me the city where you you can't walk out. That that as soon as you walk out, it- Utah. Well, okay. Utah, sure. Aside from Utah, I'm talking about a road <laughs> town here. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> My bad. Now that would be bad if you nobody knew you in Utah. <laughs> um. Well, we've only played in certain cities in these two months that since All Star break, so it's been it's like I'm on this. I I can't tell you officially yet because I haven't gone back home. Yeah, back home yet to to New York and Connecticut, but. Um, LA, LA is a big one. I, I, cause pretty much they, LA, they look for celebrities and athletes. Like <laughs> people look around for them. Um, so I would say LA would probably be a big one. Who's the uh, most famous person you've met this rookie season? Um, Kevin Hart, Floyd Mayweather, Eddie Murphy. Nice. Um, Queen Latifah. Um, I've, I've met a bunch of people. I, cause I remember I did an All Star Weekend. That's what really. Oh, okay. I was really like a kid in a, a kid in the candy shop when I met all these all these celebrities and and, and whatnot. And they, then winning dunk contests allowed me people to realize who I was. And then it was kind of like that's pretty cool that you even know my name, let alone uh, know that I exist. But um, yeah, those are the, the few. Chance the Rapper um, was a big one as well. What was your welcome to the NBA moment? Um, I think when um, Russ, Russ and the uh, Russ, Paul George and Carmelo ended up having a conversation with me after the game, like they did. You know, I knew Paul George and Carmelo from playing with them this past summer and workouts and whatnot. But when Russ came and talked to me, it was really like kind of crazy because you know he didn't talk to anybody at all during the game and, and whatnot and after the game. So for that to happen was pretty pretty exciting for me. What's it like to uh, guard James Harden? It's tough, you know. He he's 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 tough to guard. You know, he's so unpredictable. But you know, eventually he's going to get back to the step back three. You just don't know when it's going to happen. And you know, he has so many different moves in his repertoire that um, it makes it impossible. You know, and we we've as a team we've locked in and we've studied it, and we have a way of guarding it now after game one. But you know, it's tough. You know, he takes. A lot of dribbles. It's hard to get a guy who gets to take a lot of dribbles like that. Yeah. Um, in one spot, but you know we have guys who are locked in and, and ready to defend. And we watched the film and, and got locked in on it. But um, he's he's a hell of a player. So you guys are going to shut him down. I think what Donovan is saying is the Utah Jazz <laughs> are going to. Can we get breaking news here? The sounder there. Yeah, breaking news on the Dan Patrick Show. Donovan Mitchell says they will shut down James Harden game two. 
<laughs> did I misquote you on that, Donovan? Definitely 100% did. Oh, oh, oh I did one time. Uh, does, does Harden talk anything to you? Does he say anything? Um, not really. During the game, he kind of just goes about his business and, and, and does it in, in, in silence, which is which I respect. Does you know, anybody so talk to you? I mean, you're a rookie, uh, so they have to talk to you, right? Give you a little grief. Uh, Katie, let me hear it a little bit um, <laughs> when, uh, before you, um, a shot was made. Um, you know, Dan, Dan will let you let you know if a shot's going down. Um, Devin Booker. Uh, he, he he had a few points in a row, and he was like, "Oh boy, here we go." Like little little subtle things like that, but nothing nothing like bad. No no bad shots, talking anything like that. But just like little fun with, within the game. Donovan Mitchell, Utah Jazz guard, going to shut down James Harden in Game Two. That'll be tomorrow night, <laughs> and he joins us now. Uh, is there still hope that you win Rookie of the Year? Do you care? I'm I'm past it, and and people seem to disagree that I'm past it. But <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I, I'm we, look, we made the second round right now, and to be honest, no one expects us to make the playoffs as a whole. So you know, like this is a big accomplishment in itself, and we're not just sailing on the second round. I actually want to continue to go, but um, you know, this like I said, that award is an individual award, and I'm a team player. You know, I'm I'm, I'm team first. That's my motto all year. And, you know, I, we have the coach of the year, I might say, the defensive player of the year. So I'm not too worried about the award, but it's definitely fun to, to have fun with the uh, the, the uh, antics. I like it. I like it. Did you play any other sports growing up? I did. I, I grew up playing baseball. Um, I was pretty heavy on baseball. Um, and my, my dad worked for the Mets, so I was able to be exposed to the Major League Baseball uh, and all those guys at a young age. So, you know, I really thought I was going to be a major league baseball player. And then I broke my wrist sophomore year, and I ended up um, mm. sticking with basketball, which I don't think was a bad choice. <laughs> Best, uh, who was your uh, baseball player, your idol growing up? Mike Piazza was, was one of my favorites. Um, just, I, I don't know, he just had a way about him. I just, I just loved, you know, and I, I hated being a catcher because I couldn't, I would always blink when the ball would come to me, so I couldn't be a catcher. But, uh, yeah, that's a bad trait as a catcher, Donovan. Yeah, definitely. I don't think I caught one ball in my first I once skin as a catcher. So. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, Mike Piazza was my guy. I'm trying to embrace the new uniforms here. What do you think of the new uniforms with the Jazz? The the you you're talking about the the red ones yeah the, or whatever color they I are them. what do you think I love them I love them um, they're different you know and they have a deeper meaning to it which I love as well you know that I didn't know until about the second time we wore them then I started to understand that Southern Utah if you look at Southern Utah it looks almost identical to our uniforms um, so but I love it it also has a little bit of red in it which is my favorite color so it adds a little bit of a I can kind of play around when it comes to my shoes as well. Have you gone through those national parks? Have you gone to Zion and any of those places? And, and Not yet. Oh my goodness, um, Donovan! You got to do that. You got to do that. Southern I didn't Utah. How far of a drive it was at first. Have somebody <laughs> so drive have, you. Yeah. Have Have Rubio drive you. <laughs> I heard you've been giving my man a hard time too. A little bit, my man, Ricky. Just a little. Okay. I, yeah. I gave him a hard time. I didn't mean to give him a hard time. When I can shoot better than a pro, then I'm going to give him a little bit of a hard time. And I can shoot better than Rubio can, Donovan. I, I disagree. I mean, look what he did last year. You know, like, finally. Like, but like, finally. Like, I mean, it's been, I've been waiting eight years for him to, you know, make a couple of jumpers in a row. And, you know, I, I like that he's playing well for you guys. I'm not big on the man bun. And I don't think you are either, <laughs> right? I love it. I call him. I, love, I say he looks like Jesus. When he lets his hair out. He looks like That's Jesus. My joke. He looks like. <laughs> yeah, when he lets his hair down and he has a beard. I, I say he looks just like Jesus. So I, feel, I don't even call him Ricky anymore. Hey, even in the game, I call him Jesus. Hey, when he shoots like Jesus, let me know. <laughs> hey, I'm saying all I'm saying. I'm watching. I was watching the Wayne Wade highlights before this, and you know his third year in the league, he only had 13 threes made in the season. And he was the MVP of the finals. You know, you know, it's it's, it's you don't need a jump shot to, to be efficient. You know? Oh, I know, but I'm just saying I have a better jumper than Ricky Rubio. <laughs> and, and look, you should you should back your guy. 
I, I, if you were. I disagree with that now. Oh, Don. Look, I, I, <laughs> I love your game. You should be rookie of the year, but you, you got to be, you, know, you have to know when maybe not to back your guy and just say, <laughs> you know what? Your jumper is wet, and I, I get that, and you have a better jumper <laughs> than Ricky Rubio does. Rubio looks better and is a better passer, but he doesn't have a better <laughs> jumper. Just saying, Donovan. We can, we can agree to disagree on that one. Okay, we're going to agree to disagree. But, uh, hey, have fun. And uh, I'm looking for Harden to barely get 20 points in game two. <laughs> we, we will see. We'll definitely see. You got him on lockdown, right? <laughs> we, 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 uh, uh, congrats, on the, on <laughs> congrats on the season. Go back to watching The Office. And uh, thanks for joining us. Levon, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate you. That, that's Donovan Mitchell. Oh, I got to teach these young kids, man. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.